This year I finally decided to stop hand typing subtitles for each of my videos. I used to read out my scripts word for word, so it was easy just to copy and paste them into YouTube and to let it deal with the timings. However, as time has gone on, I have begun improvising more and more of the lines that I write in my scripts, so I can't just copy and paste these scripts into YouTube anymore. So for the last few years, probably since about 2020, I've painstakingly gone through each of my videos, sometimes typing the scripts for them from scratch, other times pausing every line to adjust the original script to be more precise. For every one minute of video, it takes about four minutes of work. So it doesn't sound like much, but that's up to another hour of extremely dull work on top of everything else. Video projects bloat, and I don't need this. Even when hand typing them like this, I'd still get the occasional smarmy comment correcting any mistakes I still left in my scripts. Then when I stopped doing them completely this year, I've had people complaining that I no longer do it. It's a thankless task. But that's fine, because AI is getting to the point where it's good enough to do it itself. Like genuinely, this is one of those uses that fits AI perfectly, and I'm honestly surprised that YouTube's own transcribing is still as bad as it is. I figured instead of wasting an hour per video now, I could simply wait for YouTube to get good enough at doing it itself for it to then do all my videos retroactively. But why wait for that? Could be years. So in just a few hours today, I got scripts written for every video I've made so far this year using AI. I started with a version of AI Whisper Online, which was really good, and then I switched over to one that I could use on my own PC, which doesn't seem quite as good, but it's still probably good enough. I've used it for this video, so see what you think of the subtitles written for this video. All it needs to do is to transcribe the text and then I can feed that into YouTube and that will split it into timed chunks to know when to display what on screen, because YouTube does a good job of that bit of the task already. In an ideal world, I'd AI generate these scripts and then I'd watch through the video again just to correct any mistakes that still remain. I've noticed so far it's mostly to do with processor names, like it kept lopping a zero off names like the Ryzen 8600G because saying 8600 is interpreted as 860 and not 8600. But I'm in the mindset of, you know what, why begin bloating this task already? Let's just chuck it out there as is and see what sort of feedback it gets. And I almost immediately got a comment saying I'd uploaded the wrong captions to the wrong video. So yes, it seems like people are seeing them, but I'm still only getting the negative feedback. But I take that less personally when it's an automated process and I haven't wasted any of my own time on this arduous and thankless task. So I'm happy just to sit back and then if somebody criticises one of my scripts, I'll happily jump in and review it myself. I can tell you now though, the Whisper Transcribe feature online is freakishly good. Doesn't matter if there's music in the background, doesn't matter if there are sound effects, it still seems to get the audio pretty much 100% correct. However, I'm the old fashioned sort of person who likes to use AI on my own PC, so I know it'll always be there, rather than to become reliant on some online feature that may go down someday. But I can tell you now, it won't be long before AI Transcribe becomes as good or better than handwritten scripts are. And I can't wait for the day that YouTube finally embraces this technology natively and does away with the need to even have to AI transcribe them for myself.